Thursday, May 16th, 2019, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. This morning, I want to talk about whether the banks uh, are still safe out there, uh, not only in the UK, but in the US and Western Europe. I personally uh, don't think banks are safe. Um, they did nothing to fix the way the banks run, the way the monetary system run, runs after the crisis of 08. Uh, they didn't punish the bankers uh, enough, in my opinion, to stop the kind of, uh, how can I say, uh, reckless behavior uh, that they, um, you know, had uh, prior to the uh, 08 crisis. That hasn't changed. Uh, banks still continue to borrow uh, short and lend long. What does that mean? Well, they they fund themselves with short-term overnight loans and they lend out in longer-term loans, which is a no-no in my opinion. It really creates uh, a, 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 like a, a recipe for disaster, so to speak. So I remember uh, back in 2007 <laughs> with my daughter on the... On a Saturday, I think we went into the town and we're walking around and people were queuing up outside Northern Rock, which is uh, one of the banks that uh, went bust back in uh, the old, during the 07, 08 crisis. <laughs> and it was something I had never seen before, a bank run. <laughs> I showed my daughter. She was only about 11, I think, at the time. Uh, and uh, she still remembers it. So... Uh, a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't matter, Mario, or uh, I've spoken to many people, uh, you know, that I know. And they say, yeah, I do have some money in the bank, but it's guaranteed by the F FCSC, which is the FDIC um, equivalent uh, here in the UK. In the UK, uh, if you've got money with a bank, building, so building society or credit union, this FCSC uh, will, sorry, the FSCS, <laughs> the FSCS <laughs> will guarantee uh, 85,000 of your uh, account. And if you have a joint account with your uh, spouse, uh, they'll guarantee double that, 170,000. Uh, so why am I talking about this? Am I trying to scare people off saying there's a banking crisis? No. But uh, I've noticed, uh, and I've been keeping an eye uh, on a small bank called Metro Bank here in the UK. It was created with American venture capital, private equity money. They went public. Uh, a lot of young people have accounts with them. Even my daughter has a, a, an account with them. Uh, they cater to younger people. Of course, she doesn't have too much money there. But I, I called her yesterday and said, uh, you might want to think of taking some of your cash out of that bank. What about the uh, insurance, FSCS? W won't they cover that? Well, I, I think uh, that insurance probably works if it's an isolated uh, uh, occurrence, like a small institution fails. But I'm not too sure. Uh, I can't guarantee that this is something that is only uh, related to Metro Bank, even though it seems to be. So, uh, Recently, we've had bank runs again in the UK, and I missed that. It happened a few days ago. So here we go. Uh, there's a story in The Guardian, and you don't see that too much. Didn't see it on Zero Hedge. Didn't see it uh, in other uh, oh, you know, sources of information, but uh, here we go. It says, Metro Bank shares plunge as it attacks false rumors. Customers queue uh, to access safety deposit boxes as lender reassures them property is safe. So there you go. This is uh, May, Monday, 13th of May. So I'll read through what's going on here. Metro Bank shares hit a new low on Monday uh, despite efforts to shut down social, me social media rumors questioning the lender's financial health. It's interesting that they, they try to blame social media. Uh, in this case, it's WhatsApp, but social media is only a way to communicate. Anyways, uh, it goes to say the bank has been briefing staff on how to reassure customers that their money and safety deposit boxes are safe after a flurry of WhatsApp messages caused queues at some of its London branches over the weekend. 
one branch in Harrow in northwest London on Monday contained about 40 customers at midday with some waiting about 30 minutes to access their safety safety deposit boxes some said they wanted to empty their boxes uh, where they stored uh, items such as family gold and jewelry however metro uh, said it was a normal day from for the harrow branch which is always busy the same branch experienced queues at the weekend as rumors about the bank's financial health spread metro shares share prices has sunk 80% since since January when an accounting error was uncovered by the Bank of England's Prudential Regulation Authority. However, Metro insists that it, it, it is on a robust financial footing. So I don't even trust the Bank of England, of course, you know that. I don't trust the uh, FCA because they, they've let this go through. So, you know, they've let uh, this institution make a, a huge mistake. So what mistake did they make? They do. Uh, it says here, Metro Bank has revealed a major blunder in how it classifies its loan book, an admission that drove its share price down nearly 40% on Wednesday, wiping 800 million off the value of the company. Uh, the, the bank, which has been opening branches as established rivals cut back, uh, revealed that hundreds of millions of pounds of commercial property loans and loans to commercial buy-to-let operations have been wrongly classified in risk terms and should have been among its risk-weighted assets or RWAs. And I, I think it was around 900 million uh, of these that were uh, misclassified. Uh, so these are loans, commercial property, uh, uh, commercial property buy-to-let operators. Uh, are these part of the leverage loans, which I've talked about? I've made a couple of videos in the past about leverage loans. Uh, actually, I've made two. Uh, one in October last year, I said, are leverage loans the next black swan, part one. And uh, in March this year, I, I made the same, uh, you know, same headline, are leverage loans the new black swan, part two. So, I'm not sure what to make yet of uh, Metro Bank, but uh, here's the, sh the, st the share price. Uh, it's dropped from 40 uh, March last year, and now it's around five. So I was approached by someone yesterday um, who I know, I'm not gonna say who it is, and, and said, oh, have you seen what's happened at Metro Bank? So that, and I didn't know about the, this mini bank run or, or it's not even, it's a bank run, right? And I said, uh, yeah. And I said to him, I had seen that Metro Bank had been in trouble, that their, uh, they had, uh, you know, their share price had been dropping massively. And he said, uh, yeah, I have some money with them, but it's guaranteed uh, by the FSCS. Uh, and I said, uh, yeah, um, you know, they guarantee up to 85,000. I think he had 20, has 20,000 in a savings bonds that is a fixed term savings bonds, which he can't touch for another 18 months. So what would you rather have? I mean, the safety of uh, uh, physical gold and sovereigns and silver? or uh, money that you don't know if you're ever going to get back. Granted, the FSCS uh, should guarantee it, but nothing is certain. Uh, you <laughs> and if he wants to get the money out now, he could, but there will, will be penalties. Um, so that's why uh, I, I think we need to be careful. And uh, uh, out there, I don't think anything has been done to fix the banks. I think uh, the banks are highly leveraged, as I said. Uh, I, I checked uh, also uh, leverage loans here. I Googled re leverage loans to see what's going on. And this is from 13 hours ago. Update, leverage lo loan risk credit warrants attention regulators. It says the U.S. leverage loan market is a specific credit risk that warrants attention as companies continue to layer on. Fed challenge over the overview that leverage loans won't cause crisis uh, eight hours ago. Fed warns leverage lending could exacerbate a downturn. Financial Times. So what is a leverage loan? So I'll go through it here. 
uh, a leverage loan. Uh, according to Invest Investopedia, a leverage loan is a type of loan that is extended to companies or individuals that already have considerable amounts of debt and or poor credit history. Lenders consider leverage loans to carry a higher risk of default. And as a result, a leverage loan is more costly to the borrower. So could this be a Metro Bank? Could, be, could, be, could this be the start of the leverage loan crisis? Maybe. I remember when the subprime uh, crisis started, which kicked on the uh, crisis of 08, many people said, oh, it's a small market. It won't uh, affect the overall market. It's contained. The old, you know, we know what Ben Bernanke said, right? That uh, everything was contained and the economy was doing well. And that was in the end of 2007. I don't want to uh, sound like a panic merchant saying that everything is going to implode. But I, I think it warrants, uh, you know, warning. And uh, even if you take your money out of Metro Bank or other banks, maybe put it even in cryptocurrencies. It's outside the system. But, but it's a lot more uh, volatile cryptocurrencies. But you have to make sure you have your own wallets and stuff. Don't keep uh, your cryptocurrencies in exchanges. Uh, personally, I feel safer holding on to my uh, silver, uh, my gold, physical silver and gold. Um, if you're interested in acquiring uh, precious metals, I have a, a deal with uh, Gold Investments the oldest bullion dealer, arguably, uh, in London, in the city of London. It's family run. They've been there since 1981. Uh, I've got a promo code, Monaco64. You get half a percent uh, discount when you, you buy uh, gold or silver. Uh, the, uh, there are links below in the descri description to gold investments. Uh, if you're interested, am I trying to push you? Uh, recommending you buy gold or silver? No, uh, that's that's I, the way I think the best way to protect yourself to be outside this banking system, because in my opinion, something doesn't smell, something doesn't feel right about it. I could be wrong, but you know it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, and of course, these insurance FDIC, FSCS. They guarantee um, deposits, but uh, it only works if it's a one-off, right? A small bank. Uh, and uh, so I wouldn't be too, uh, too uh, complacent. What about the markets? Uh, so it's around 8.25 a.m. London. Markets yesterday uh, rallied quite strongly. Uh, they were weak uh, early in the day. We had some really uh, not good economic numbers from, from the U.S. Um, I saw that uh, retail sales, for example, was expected to rise 0.2%. It dropped 0.2%. Retail sales, uh, core retail sales, was expected 07 It was only up 0.1%. I noticed as well that capacity utilization uh, was expected at 78.7% and it dropped to 77.9%. Uh, and uh, manuf industrial production as well was uh, expected unchanged for April and it dropped 0.5%. Manufacturing was expected 0.1% and it dropped 0.5%. That is not uh, very good uh, numbers there for the economy. So yeah, the stock market did managed to rally. We've had two days of rally, but uh, the technical picture still doesn't look great. Uh, this morning, uh, so it's 826. Spot gold is at uh, 1297.30. So still stuck in the mid uh, between 1292 and 1300 at the moment, I would say. Silver is uh, up a cent at 1480. Uh, the Dow is down 45 points, 25594. S&P is down 7, uh, NASDAQ 100 futures down 24. Currencies, the pound is continuing to, to drop here, 128.23 now, down another uh, 0.2 of a percent. Uh, the headlines say it's because of Brexit, uh, but Brexit has been a mess for months. 
Could, the, could this be about the UK banking? Um, who knows? Who knows? And Metro Bank, even though Metro Bank is a small bank, the market cap is only 500 million. Uh, it was over 4 billion uh, last year. Uh, the euro, uh, 112.07, unchanged. Dollar down about 0.2 against the yen, 109.40. Dollar uh, up 0.1 percent against the U1 691. Uh, crude oil uh, creeping back up 62.50 uh, WTI. That's up 0.4 of a percent. Brent 71.55 up a quarter. Bond markets look uh, don't look good to me. The bond markets not in terms of bond prices. Bond prices are going up, but the structure of the yield curve is looking worrying. Uh, and that's why I don't think the stock markets are out of the woods. Right now, the 10-year yield is down to 236, down another two basis points almost here, 1.6. And uh, the three-month is at 240. So the curve is very, very clearly inverted right, right now. So what does that do as well, the inverted yield curve? Well, uh, Bankers uh, and probably like people like Metro Bank, they borrow money overnight or short term uh, loans for themselves and they uh, lend it a longer term because you get a, be a better return longer term usually. But with the curve inverting, that uh, uh, you know, borrow short, lend long uh, operation that banks thrive on, uh, that also diminishes. So not a very good sign here. So I'll finish off the video today with the markets. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of um, format. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. You can also follow me on Twitter, Steam it, and on DTube. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.